What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Deluvion. I was hoping we would get further in the first episode, and unfortunately, we didn't manage to do so. There's some dinars in there and a little bit of fish fossils, just in case you wanted to add some bone to your inventory. That game was like the most disappointing game of all time for me. I can't even remember the name of it now. Oh, what was the name of that game? The post-apocalyptic one where you're inside the big APC that's got people inside of it. Bone Crusher. Well, that does certainly help out. I mean, I can destroy mines, no problem. We're almost at our crush depth right now in the previous episode. We have been forced to dive down deep in order to get around a cave-in. And unfortunately, somebody has mined this area, and I don't mean that they've searched it for valuable minerals. No, what I instead mean to say is that they've put all kinds of nasty... Look, they have scowly faces on them. The mines are hostile. They look grumpy. It's no fun. I think... We're really, really close to our crush depth right now, so we're going to start taking damage. If I can get rid of that mine right there, we might be a tad safer, but we're going to have to play this one very, very close to the chest. Yeah, we're at crush depth now. So we're going to start taking damage. Let's get back up to the surface before that starts to affect us negatively. So if you're at crush depth for more than like five or six seconds, your ship will start to go and make like creaky farty noises. Once it starts making creaky farty noises, that's never a good sign. It means that your structure is impeded. You'll start taking like 1 HP damage every now and again, 2 HP damage. It's no funsies. I wouldn't recommend it. Somebody's in trouble. What do we do? What else? Dock and rescue. You know, if this was an R-rated channel, I would have all kinds of... I would have way more jokes. Like, seriously, if I was streaming this, way more jokes than if it goes up on YouTube. Because YouTube, i got to keep it family friendly. That's like when I go up on, when I go up on stream, that's kind of like the late night Splattercat show. You need to leave now. Are you sure it's okay for me to catch a lift? Yeah, get on the ship, man. Don't die. You've got awesome headphones. You got those killer beats by Dre or whatever, so that the bass will be boosted too high. We don't have any... God, I hate beats by Dre. They're the worst. I don't understand why people buy them. It's just because it's a fashion accessory, I guess. It annoys me in the same way that it annoyed me that people used to buy MacBooks back in the day. It's just like, it's a fashion accessory. You can get so much more for so much less. Ah! I get it. It's all good. I understand now. It's a fashion accessory. Although, although honestly, while Macs are still ridiculously overpriced, they do have their uses. For example, if I had like my recording studio set up on a Mac, I'd be a lot happier. But it's set up on a PC, so... Eh. You know. It's one of those things. If you want your computer to have just one function and one function only, like recording studio, sound editing, video editing, I would definitely put it on a Mac versus... If you want it for recreation, I'd probably go for a PC. So we can hold X and we can release to ping. Yay, I've pinged in the ocean. I've pinged so many times in the ocean. And so this will tell us all the places around here that we can go now. It'll also tell us if there's hostiles in the area, and there is. There's a hostile over there. So the game's got a little bit of a freelancer feel to it as well. I don't know if you noticed that. It's kind of like Freelancer meets X3 meets Sid Meier's Pirates meets, you know, it's a bunch of games thrown together. Make sure you're keeping an eye on a food available in your sub. If you run out of food, the sailors will leave their stations, leaving your sub with stat or without stat bonuses. Okay, and then Gregory Hudson wants to tell us about Sonar. And as you can see, all of our stations have been filled out now by people who are ready to go. That reminds me of that vehicle that Mr. Garrison invented. That thing that she's sitting in. What can you tell me about Sonar? I'm a sonar journeyman. I'll always be listening for contacts, and when I hear a signature, I'll mark it on your HUD. The thing is, I can't hear very far, and that's where the sonar ping comes in. Send out a ping, and it will greatly increase my hearing range. The more you charge a ping, the more I'll be able to hear. For contacts, I have a better read on. I can even put up a targeted lead for you if they're in range of guns. So yes, a very, very useful... In so that'll give me plus 20% charge time and plus 20% range. Go ahead and do that. I think for right now, that might be the best thing that we could spend some time on. That minnow's not around here, right? So we got a couple of locations we can check out. I think that's the iron minnow right there. What's over here? So this is a bit of a ways to the south. You do have a map, by the way. But you have to find the chart for your zone before you have an official map. In case you were wondering how that works. Chances are I'm not going to be able to dive too much deeper in this area. What is this over here? Ping it! We've got the city of Ice Merchant. 
Well, shit, let's go to the City of Ice Merchant and see if we can't fill out our crew. God, I love the music in this game. The music in this game is really, really good. Whoever did it, they got like a real like Hans Zimmer vibe going on. I don't know. It grabs you while you're playing the game. I want to stand on the bow of my ship and just be like, Ahoy! First time seeing the City of Ice? Who built this? Nobody knows. It's been here for hundreds of years. So what's your deal? I'm a gunner, of course, and your ship has guns. We're a perfect match. I guess if that's as far as you want to take the line of inquiry, sure. Docking away! Docking harpoons at the ready! Fire them on out, chaps! Alright, so inside this location... we That's our storage chest, I think. This lady, we can talk to her, we can buy and sell shit. Let's go ahead and buy and sell shit. Got a knickknack or two, take a look. So she's got some money on her. We will sell off those fossils to make 72 bucks, 378. We'll sell off the books. Aside from that, we haven't, we haven't actually picked up that much treasure. So we made 958. Food would probably be a good thing to buy. A little bit more scrap is probably a good thing to buy as well. Repair kits will make it so that guys that are on repair duty in your ship, it just makes them work faster and that'll slowly deplete. So if you've got a repair kit on board, she does have an air tank, a very happy air tank, an air tank with a smiley face on it. But we can find air tanks for free, so I don't think I'm going to spend a bunch of time buying them. Let me shoot out a ping real fast while I come around. So there we go. We've got a crippled flounder and a glacium vigilante. I suppose we could. Let's go make a friend. I would be remiss to waste my ammo, though, firing at him this early on. Oh, it's dead already? Oh, okay. It must have already gotten into a fight with that ship right there. And so now we'll board this guy and we'll take his stuff. Yar! Yo, ho, 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 that's what I call your mom. Alright, so we got... Um... Books, dinars, and a little bit of scrap. I'm gonna get sued by Disney, I know it. No! This time around we absolutely do not open that thing. That bulkhead stays shut until we have a crowbar. His engines are still vibrating. Too much caffeine today. Too much caffeine. Today is one of those uber busy days where I have so much stuff to do and so little time to do it where I just feel stressed. I woke up stressed. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to sleep tonight stressed. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Can we board this? We can. So let's board this flounder as well. It looks like the crew's already dead, so anything what's left over is now ours. Oh, no, there's crew inside of here. Want to join up? My father is threatened to cut off all inheritance unless I find myself a trade. I'm sure I could make officer rank within the year. For a thousand? I th shouldn't he come for free since he's stranded inside of a busted ship? Want to hire the best sailor in the ocean? 610, she's got two endurance. Yeah, I'll take it. We need more crewmen. I don't know what endurance is good for, but we'll check. We'll also take their books and some of their other good stuff. Sorry, man. I'm leaving you stranded. You were not interested in the deal. I would have just signed on for free if it got me off the sinking ship that I'm about to die on. Alright, so it probably wants to put us back on course. Yes, indeed. Our fishy dues are all over the place. Paying our fishy dues. We've also used up a bit of ammunition getting into these fights, but I'm glad we finished that guy off without any problems. We've also got a flounder pirate up there. I don't think I want to get in any more fights for right now. The payoff doesn't seem to be worth the amount of scrap that we go through at the moment. And so I think running away is probably our best option. Let's kick it into overdrive. This is not a speedy slash swift ship, though. This ship is not good at that kind of stuff, so... You know, bear that in mind as we go forward. And another ship right there that appears to be of the same type as ours. So I wonder if later on we buy new ships, or do we just retrofit the one that we already have? Because I'll probably swap this ship out as quickly as possible. Just because I don't like its attributes. Aside from the fact that it shoots forward, which is pretty cool. Shooting forward is really, really nice. Believe me, you don't understand the value of being able to shoot forward. Until you have a ship that can only shoot backwards. It's at that point you're like, man, we really need to get on this. Like, engineering-wise, we need to put somebody on this job right now. 
So that's the Beacon Keeper right there. Let's go talk to the Bacon Keeper. The Keeper of the Sacred Bacon! This guy would have all the bodyguards IRL. Nobody would mess with the Keeper of the Bacon. If you're the Keeper of the Bacon and you handle Bacon Dispensation, you're pretty much free and clear. Nobody's ever going to mess with you. Bodyguards got you covered. Free air tank and a Forgotten Fjords map. Okay. You've found the zone map. You can access it with M. Landmarks you discover will be placed on the map. However, your own position will not occur. Okay. Uh, where is Tonisburg? Follow these beacons. They'll take you straight to Tonisburg. I'm calling it Tonisburg now instead of Tonsburg. Tonisburg sounds cooler. It sounds more exotic. We're off to find Tonisburg. See, it sounds like a place that sailors would sing about. So I think anything that we sonar gets added to our map. That or it's anything that we sail up on. Here, we want to go to this research capsule over here. Maybe it'll have something good inside of it. I also like how a flashlight follows your reticle. It's like a little thing, but it illuminates whatever you're looking at, and it just makes it easier to see what the hell's going on. You found Stavkirk. Okay. Apparently I found Stavkirk. You found your first landmark. When you discover a landmark, it is marked down on your compass and your map. If you don't have a map for the zone yet, don't fret. The landmarks you found will be added to your map when you get it. Okay, cool. So we've got ourselves a heart pendant and a Stavkirk chart. So that'll increase the endurance of a crew member by one. The Blessed Chapel could have only been built to honor the Deep, no matter what the skeptics say. Why else would the Deep have saved it from his waves, the Dweller Priests? Alright. So we've got the charts. So, like, where do I count as being right now? What is this map? I'm in Forgotten Fords. So we've got Stavkirk over here. What's cool is when you mouse over those, you hear that harp sound? They actually, they stay in tune with the background music. It's really, really cool when you mouse over those. It's always little things with games like this that you notice that you're like, that's a really, really cool feature. And it makes you really, really want to review the, like, review the game positively because it's got tons of little things like that that just make the UI more interactive in ways that most players just won't even notice. So which way do we go? Tonisburg's not too much further. We can follow these beacons to get there. And so how are you finding the new recruits? Boy never says anything except to apologize, and the girl never shuts up. The rest of the crew don't do more than mumble. If we make it to the endless corridor, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> All right, so we've got our crew. We've already got somebody assigned to sonar. Huh? So what does she want? She has accuracy and fire rate for perception and strength. Okay. As far as endurance goes... That's strength and endurance for there. That's perception and intelligence for there. So this individual would more than likely be best served here to give us engine power. So we'll be a little bit faster if we have her station there. I don't know. They don't level up. Like, you have to use those little pendants and things on them to make them better. In case you were wondering. So if we go to our inventory right here and then we click on that, we can decide who we want to put it on. I'll give it to Melissa Smithson for right now. Just make her like the endurance individual who makes us much, much better at enduring because nobody else is actually at a station that requires endurance. So why worry about it? Extra engine power is something that I'm passionate about too. So our ship should be 30% faster right now, although given how slow it was previously, that's probably not going to post much of an improvement. Let's go ahead and fire out a ping here. There's an iron minnow down here. Are those two fighting? Hey, hey, let's go, Kinkatsu! Come about! I think that rapidly changing depths appears to be one of the better strategies. The 
There we go. If we can unload on him right there. I would dearly love to stop being shot. Got him. Although we went through a lot of ammunition to make that happen, so... Let's see here. Inside of this ship we find... Very, very little, in fact. 13 dinars, a couple of books. That'll actually... That's good, though. That'll get us paid. And that's all that I really wanted out of this. All that I want is to get paid money. Alright, so give me a ping. We don't have to fight everything hostile, by the way. We could have just left that alone. But there's something about a threatening enemy that just makes me really, really, really want to fight with him. I'm not exactly sure where we're going right now. Presents kind of an interesting issue, but I think we'll... Probably at the next location, spend a bunch of money getting ourselves some extra food. And then after getting the extra food, I would also suggest that it might be wise. It might be practical. Oh, there's another thing down here. What is this? You found a landmark. Carl the Slow. Is that what I'm at right now? Take us upwards. Is this dockable? Warning, low food. Yeah, we'll take care of that in a minute. So having found the Carl the Slow, let me ping to make sure there's no hostiles in the area because I'd really prefer not to eat any more torpedoes for right now. Guild Protector, Vehicle Engineering Guild. We've got the Tonisburg Courtyard. So we have found the place we're supposed to be. I would continue pinging for as often as you can, actually. I would use pinging all the time. Let's slow down. Our crewman has something he wants to say to us. So where to next? Well, Hasley should be in one of the capsules around Tonnesburg. And so he is actually... I'm going to go ask inside the Vehicle Engineering Guild. I think that's probably where he's at. Maybe. We should be safe now that we're inside the realm of the guild protectors. Nothing should mess with us. Okay, so inside of here... Is there anything lootable? There is not, it looks like. Hey, I'm looking for John Hasley? Yeah, that'd be me. There's a couple of things I'll need you to bring me, but I'll make you the best ship you've ever laid eyes on. I think if my eyes are getting laid, we need to have a talk about their responsibility to society. Um, What do you need to upgrade the sub? So I need 15 reinforced hull panels, 10 engine parts from the ships that fell around Fingerdahl in the Battle of Singer's End, you know, the one where uh, Song House finally kicked it, Sanja House finally kicked it. I'll also need 40 pieces of scrap metal, a Morse radio, and some blackberries. Consider those payment for my services. So we need all kinds of stuff in order to get our new ship. Can't talk to any of these individuals, so I guess we'll just bounce on out. What's up? Let's see, where can I find reinforced hull plates? Down in Rhinefjord in the minefields. Be careful out there, plenty of live explosives. Okay. We've got a drill dwelling down there. The Tonisburg Courtyard is up there. So my suggestion is that maybe we make a little bit... We rise just slightly. Then we'll pull into port over here at Tonisburg. And inside of Tonisburg, we can't really do much there. can't loot that, and we can't loot any of that. What does this have? What do you want? Don't waste your money on racing, kid. Shark fighting's where it's at, if you know the contacts to get in. Shark fighting. Yar! Shark fighting. We be fighting sharks. Hey, you heard of Hasley? Oh, never mind. We've already been to Hasley. We don't need to talk to that guy. Hey, you a sailor? 
I've dabbled a bit in sailing, but there's only so much fun you can have blowing things up with torpedoes. I'm looking for a torpedo officer. Listen, mate, I'm fully aware of what type of ship you're piloting. It's not one that would lead you to require a torpedo officer, yeah? Now, the combat ship, because it can't shoot forwards, the reason it can't shoot forwards is because it has a torpedo tube on the front. Torpedoes are pretty badass. They allow you to shoot the enemy and make them hurt. Ah, we found an ears pendant. And then we also got a sea chart. What's the sea chart go to? Oh, it's just for treasure hunters, I guess. Do we have anybody that's willing to buy or sell here? You want to join up? Well, Matt, Captain, can I ask if your ship requires salvation? Oh, he's pretty cheap, and he's got decent stats. He's not bad at all. Hmm, we need to find a trader then. We need to find a trader like right this second. I think there's another spot where we can go over here somewhere. Like, I seem to recall there being other dock spots in this area. So it does look like we have a live heading over here. That would be something to consider. We've got drill dwellings. I don't see anything up and above, but there is something down at the bottom that I wanted to show to all of you. Mm, we're caught up in a current right now. There's a research capsule down here, and it's built into the back of a giant dead crab, the frozen giant. Cool stuff. Ocean has crabs, lots and lots of crabs. So that's got a repair kit inside of it, a free torpedo, and a frozen giant chart. The mighty grip, the beast stormed the tower. With a hull of steel, the Lady Estrella drove Black Spear's sharpened prow into its tender underbelly. And thus, as quickly as the mad beast arrived, the merchant convoy was saved by the spurious hero. Well, there you go, frozen giant chart. We've also got repair kits, and we've got torpedoes, which I'll probably just sell off because we need the money. We can't do anything with any of the rest of this, the horseshoe crabs or the weird shark thing with the schnoz. It's a schnozzle shark. For some reason that makes me happy because it sounds nice. It sounds relaxing. So with the charts, it said that when I got the charts... I don't know. Is there anything else in this area? I guess to have the chart is to, in essence, have the ability to add those to your map, I guess. I don't see anything else down here. I think it's time to break that out. So it wants me to go this way. for unknown reasons. All right, well, I guess I'll follow it through. Hit that overdrive, son, because I got a need for speed. I like going fast. And while we wait, let me reassign crew very quickly. I'm going to put her right there so that she can start repairing the ship. It's a little messed up. see something over there. Let's hit this area with a ping. So there's a research capsule down here. With the repair kit. There we go. Our ship is actually repaired quite well at this point. This is a giant seat. And so inside of here we've got a heart pendant that'll increase endurance and a giant seat chart. These walls were constructed to save the town that once lay directly behind them. Even their desperate attempts to delay the inevitable could not save the lives or their houses. Okay, then we got another pendant. So we've got a perception pendant and an endurance pendant. I'm going to say that our wisest course of action here is going to be to jump inside the ship. And with the endurance pendant... I'm going to start upgrading Jack to be an all-arounder. 
So he's now got two endurance. He's now got better perception. Even though those two things don't really go together. So there it is. I'm going to leave her on repair duty for right now. Because I didn't see that much of a marked difference in the speeds we were pulling anyways. Let's get moving forward. And with that, I think we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Diluvion. This is a game that I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. I love just open world sandboxy, you know, open world sandboxy freelancer type games. And so this one struck me as being particularly interesting. There will be times when you need to make very quick changes to your crew. This is where Captain's Time comes in handy. Press and hold V to slow down time around you, allowing you to make changes in the heat of battle. Oh, that'd be nice. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.